Hello, Martha Turner Sotheby's International Realty Agents. Uh, this is Paul Silverman coming to you with the tech tips from our fully functioning central office. So one of the things that a lot of people have been talking about during this time, and these are actually good marketing tips for the rest of the year, but the big thing we're thinking about now is, even though we've had more showings the last few days than we did a lot of weekends last quarter of last year, we're still thinking about what's gonna happen if people become a lot more cautious about looking at our listings. And Robin Connor said it best and says it all the time that the first showing that your home has is online. Once they walk in the door, it's actually considered the second showing. So during a period where buyers might become a bit reluctant to drive out and view a home or view a neighborhood, what can we do to entice them more and tell the story of your listing more to attract them to the home? So we're gonna talk about photos and videos today. And the first thing we're gonna talk about is photo captions. You know, a lot of times during our sales meetings, listings will be presented with no photo captions. And if the agent isn't there, we often wonder exactly what is the layout of the home, what rooms are we looking at, etc. So now, as with any time, is a great time to put photo captions on your listings. And I'm also going to attach a really good article that talks about the advantages of it. So again, first thing is make sure you add them. Second thing is please put more than just the name of the room. We, you know, we also want to see the features, the flow, the lifestyle, more than just kitchen, family room, secondary bedroom. So again, this is your chance to tell the story of the home in more than the thousand characters that HAR allows us in the public description. So the next thing we want to talk about is additional photos. Again, imagine you're at home, you're not going out to look at, at homes and neighborhoods. What else are we selling other than the home? What is the lifestyle of the neighborhood? So for additional photos, let's put some of the community amenities. I know photographers like TK Images have different amenity pics of the different communities that you can order from them. Also, we can add photos of the area schools. We can add photos of the area attractions. And finally, we can add maps showing the proximity um, to all of the above. And another thing that's also really popular is to do drone shots, not only of a house, but of an area also. It's really easy to have your photographer, once he flies his drone up, to instead of pointing down at the house only, point out and show things like proximity to medical center, amenities, or lifestyle centers. So next thing we're gonna talk about is video. Again, this is a great time to make sure we have video on all of our listings. So let's first look at the different types of videos. So the first one is a slideshow, which is not really a video. It's more of a slideshow just set to music with some nice transitions. The second is the traditional videos that our photographers shoot that will show the panning of rooms or different features. The next one that a lot of people like, um, although it takes a little bit of technical knowledge to operate them, is the Matterport or Immersion Tours. And these you can actually walk just about every inch of the house and look at every angle. And we're going to be going over examples of some of these. And finally are your professionally produced videos that we see on, on some of our listings. So again, professional videographers, we have TK Images, we have a company called Attractive Listing, and you can see our service provider list for more. Again, back to the professionally produced ones, we have Mark Thomas and Charles Branson that do some of our nicer ones. So now let's take a look at some of the different video options and some of the differences between them.